She ignored the front door and came in here. It was 4.30 Saturday morning. That's when Jamie Woods says a stranger came onto his property and woke his whole family. They live on Northeast 28th Street near 242nd in Camas. Woods says the woman started banging on their back door. Long enough for my dog to go crazy like that. I was scared because I thought someone was like breaking in and like robbing us. I mean, she was desperate to get in, which I can understand. Woods says he opened the door just enough for the woman to speak. She told me that someone was trying to kill her and someone stole her car and all this other stuff. So I was like, okay, well, hold on a second. Woods called 911 and walked the woman outside. We didn't know exactly what he was walking into. Police say the woman told them she'd been carjacked near Mill Plain and Grand in Vancouver. She says the suspect asked her for water, which she provided. Then she let him get in her car. That's when she says he held her at knife point and forced her to give him control of the car. She says several miles later on a dirt road in Camas, she jumped out of the moving car and escaped. She was all all dirty, barefoot, no shoes. With deputies on the way, Woods took this cell phone video of the woman for safety. You can hear her recounting what happened. I thought he was going to kill me, so I jumped out. The only thing I can think of is like maybe he was bringing her out here to kill her, dump her, rape her, who knows. I'm just thankful that she got out of the vehicle and got here to someone that was willing to call the authorities and help her, regardless of her attempting to break into the house. I'm pretty proud of him for how he reacted with the situation. Woods is just relieved. We didn't know if she was, you know, crazy or if she was actually telling the truth, but come to find out the whole story was completely true. Now, less than an hour later, deputies spotted the suspect driving the victim's car. That triggered a 10-minute chase that ended near 115th and Chuklov. Deputies and Vancouver police pinned the car and arrested the suspect, who has refused to identify himself. He's in the Clark County Jail on multiple charges, including robbery and kidnapping in the first degree. David? Absolutely terrifying. Catherine Cook reporting tonight. Thanks, Catherine.